How do you feel, mate? Words well, can't describe Coogan. I'll describe the greatest fighter of all time. It's been my brother. Unbelievable. I remember the interview we did after the second fight. You said, don't write Wilder off. You still can't. He's still Listen, a phenomenal Wilder fighter. was dangerous right before that, right up to the temple. You know, he's a hell of a fighter, but didn't show any sportsmanship after which Tyson went over to congratulate him. He's just been a bit of a prick about it, so fuck him. But as a man, as a boxer, I should say, he's got some heart and got some big balls and fight on and tough as a brick. How concerned were you during the fight for your brother? Listen, when Tyson gets a second round knockout, I'm concerned. But listen, yeah, no one else would have got up. But with Tyson being up with the heart that he is and the balls that he is, he's just, you can never write him off. And obviously I was concerned, but never write this man off. Who goes down twice in the fucking fourth round and comes back here in the very next round? It's unbelievable. He's been out the ring for 20 months and Listen, comes back with that performance. It showed tonight. It did show tonight. He had no jab, but he done what had to be done. That's what greats do. They win on the not the best nights. They dig deep and they find the win. And that's what he is. Listen, he's not a champion. He's a great. By far the greatest in this era. And up there and up there with the best, the very best. And anyone who questions that is a jealous prick or don't know shit about boxing. Top and end of it. Top and end of it. That's it. Have you got anything else you'd like to add? No, listen, let's hope we all get home and Wilder gets home safe and back to his family and everyone gets home safe. That's all. That's all. Thank you very much, Louis. Stop, man.